You watched it? Yeah. Well, then I guess you're ready for this. What's that? It's from the teapot. Everything you'll ever need to know is in that note. Not enough for me. You are everything. Thank you. All right. Hey, everyone. Thanks for coming. Yes. Ah, oh, thanks, Pete. That was really nice. I just want to say how happy we are that all of you are here tonight. And I want to especially thank those of you who have traveled from far away to be here with us tonight especially the Florida cousins, who obviously can't take a hint. <laughs> Four years ago, I was just a guy who had a crush on a girl who had a boyfriend. And I had to do the hardest thing that I've ever had to do, which was just to wait. Uh, don't get me wrong, I flirted with her. Pam, I can now admit in front of friends and family that I do know how to make a photocopy. <laughs> Didn't need your help that many times. And uh, do you remember how long it took you to teach me how to drive stick? Like a year. I've been driving stick since high school. So, uh, <laughs> yes, yes. For a really long time, that's all I had. I just had little moments with a girl who saw me as a friend. And a lot of people told me I was crazy to wait this long for a date with a girl who I worked with. But I think even then I knew that I was waiting for my wife. So. <laughs> I would like to propose a toast. So if you'd all raise your glasses, not Pam for obvious reasons, but everyone else, if you would raise your glasses. What's obvious? Why can't Pam drink? Pam can't drink? Who, I didn't. I don't know what you want me to tell you, man. All I know is that every time I've been faced with a tough decision, <laughs> there's only one thing that outweighs every other concern. One thing that will make you give up on everything you thought you knew. Every instinct, <laughs> every rational calculation. Some sort of virus? Love. Oh. Dwight, listen, no matter what happens, you gotta forget about all the other stuff. You gotta forget about logic and fear and doubt. You just gotta do everything you can to get to the one woman who's gonna make all this worth it. At the end of the day, you gotta jump. You love Angela, Dwight. <laughs> I think you always have. You're a good assistant, Jim. Not as good as you. That's very true. Get the hell out of here. You got it. Have I not proposed to you yet? Mm, I don't... Mm. Oh. No? Well, mm -mm. that's coming. Oh, right now? No. I'm not gonna do it right here. That would be rather lame. Okay, so then when? Pam, I'm not gonna tell you. I hate to break it to you, but that's not how that works. Oh, right. Yeah. Wait, I'm serious. It's happening. Okay. And when it happens, it's going to kick your ass, Beasley. So, stay sharp. I've been warned. I am not kidding. <laughs> Got it a week after we started dating. I'll see you at home. Okay. Hey, don't try to lose too much money, all right? In okay. case we still wanna go on a honeymoon. <laughs> hey, Hopper. Keep an eye on her, all right? Okay. Will do. Bye. Hey. Hey, how's it going? Good. Especially after I took all your money in poker. <laughs> yeah. Uh... Hey, uh, can I talk to you about something? about when you want to give me more of your money? No, Did you want to do that now? We can go inside. 
feeling kind of good tonight. I was just, um... I'm in love with you. What? I'm really sorry if that's weird for you to hear, but I need you to hear it. Probably not good timing. I know that. I just... What are you doing? What do you expect me to say to that? I just need you to know. Once. Well, I, um... I... I can't. Yeah. You have no idea. Don't do that. What your friendship means to me. Come on. I don't want to do that. I want to be more than that. I can't. I'm really sorry if you misinterpreted things. It's probably my fault. Not your fault. I'm sorry I misinterpreted uh, our friendship. tickets the day I saw that YouTube video. I knew we'd need a backup plan. The boat was actually plan C, the church was plan B, and plan A was marrying her a long, long time ago. Pretty much the day I met her. Dunder Mifflin, this is Pam. Oh, hey, Mom. No. What did Dad say? What did you say to my dad? What? After you talked, he called my mom and said he was going to look for an apartment. Oh, my God. Pam, I don't know. I... Nothing. Truly nothing. I mean, I, I just was honest with him, and I... I'm so sorry. I, I don't know. I'll call him again. I... 50% of marriages end in divorce, so it was her parents or my parents. What could Jim have said to make my dad want to leave my mom? And at what point in our marriage is he going to say it to me? Hey, Dad. No, I know Mom told me. Okay. Yeah, I'll see you then. So what did he say? Was it my fault? He said that you told him how much you love me. About how you feel when I walk in a room. And about how you've never doubted for a second that I'm the woman you want to spend the rest of your life with. I guess he's never felt that with my mom, even at their best. You okay? Yeah. When you're a kid, you assume your parents are soulmates. My kids are going to be right about that.